Okay. So I just had my lunch and a coffee. They don't have lids, so I'm gonna have to hold it the whole way home, but that's okay. We just dropped Maverick off at school. <sighs> it's nice that he is, he's adjusted well. Like he's doing really well in like drop off and in school. And it's really fun cause like he sings at home now, which is really fun. And he, um, like he's, I have his name on the refrigerator cause they're like wanting to identify it by sight and stuff. And so I've wrote it on the refrigerator and they're learning to trace it. And so he will come up to his name on the refrigerator and want to trace it, which is really sweet. And it's like, oh, he's just getting so big now. Oh, and it makes me so sad. But I am going to go home and do some things. This, this month is going to be... I'm probably not going to do much makeup this month because honestly, I've got some other stuff going on. I have a class I have to do. And so it's a lot and it's taking a lot of time. So Whitney's asleep. So I'm going to try to work on it while she's asleep in the bedroom. And then um, I'll probably try to work on it again tonight when John gets home, but we'll see. I assume he's working 10 hours, but I don't know. And then... Monday, the 11th, is a big day for me. Um, I'm very anxious about it, but I am going um, for my very first initial appointment at a weight loss clinic. And I am going to be starting the process for hopefully having gastric bypass surgery sometime next year. Um, typically it's a six to nine month process. Uh, it just kind of depends on what the insurance requires. Um, it's at least a six month process, but insurance could require a nine month process. And so Whitney will be 12 months on the 26th and typically, um, I'll need to be 18 months postpartum before having another surgery. So my assumption is that I won't, if I get to have the gastric bypass, it wouldn't be until I'm at least 18 months postpartum. So, um, and that's fine because I had a lot of complications with Whitney. Um, I was in the hospital on and off the entire month of October, um, after having her. So, um, yeah, so I'm okay with wanting to take a little time and, or taking, if it take would take longer, then that's fine to make sure I'm, like, good and, and healed up, even though it isn't anywhere near my C-section, but, um, so that's kind of what's going on this month, and I'm really anxious because on Monday, I have to start tracking what I'm eating, and so... I'm going to have to stop eating horribly, which is good because obviously that's why I'm not losing any weight, but it's also very nerve wracking because I don't want to screw up and I'm just afraid that I'm going to screw up. And you know, this is, this is something that I can't really screw up because you know, I don't, I don't like this the rest of my life. I don't want to be miserable the rest of my life. And I'm not saying that I'm miserable because I'm overweight, but kind of I'm miserable because I'm overweight. And, um, yeah. So this is my last week to eat junk and crap. And, um, I'm going to try really, really hard not to just like overdo it and like overeat and do all those kind of things so that hopefully... You know, I can be in a better situation. And like I said, I have to start tracking, so I'm not gonna have much of a choice. Because I don't wanna go in there and then be like, oh yeah, I ate zebra cakes at 12 o'clock at night. Because that's what I do right now. Oy. 
anyway, um, we're just about home. I gotta go do some things and eat and then go pick up Mab and then, yeah. So, I will check in again sometime. But I will see you guys here after a while. Hello again. I thought I would show you my lunch since I told you I went and got it. It's a honey chicken wrap. I don't know what all is in it, but it's yummy. And then I got cottage cheese as a side. So, mmm. It's really good. Whitney is still asleep. I'm trying to do some of the stuff that I need to do. Yeah, we're going to get mad here soon. So, yeah, I just wanted to show you my lunch. Very good. Okay, we're back in the car. So we're going to get Maverick. From school, we're gonna go in the pickup line. Even though he doesn't get out for another half hour. Do my nails. Well, I uh, did some other things, but I'm trying to do some self-care today. So I needed to do my nails or I will just, I bite them when I'm anxious. And I'm very anxious right now. And so I will just bite them bloody if I uh, don't put something on them. So I'm gonna just do this little cute little thing. We live on a highway. And so it can be tricky to get pulled out. So, all right, here we go. Hang on everybody. Here we go. I'm still drinking my coffee. I've not drank very much of it. I did get some of the schoolwork done that I needed to do. So, that's good. Because, boy, um, it's due next Monday. So, I'm hoping to not have to cram it in all weekend since he does go to school it gives me a couple hours to try to work on it so I got two well I got one thing completed I got a study guide completed and then I have tried a paper and so I um I had to watch a video about this thing and so I got the video watched and then I'll have to do a paper on it which I might try to do tonight when John gets home or tonight after Whitney goes to bed. Um, so, we'll see. Because typically I will uh, do school work after she goes to bed if I can. And, and it's just one class. Like, it's not... <laughs> I enjoy school work. And so, I'm just doing one class. And, anyway. So, we are going to go pick up Mav and see how his day was. I brought him some snacks and I might do a loopy loop because wet's gonna get angry. But if I do a loop now, that'll put me pretty far back in the line. And I don't like being that far back. I like picking him up decently early so, what to do, what to do. Let's see where the line is at. And that will kind of, I can always turn around. Depending on where it is. Oh, good lord. It's already super far back. What the heck? What? Zuck. Why? It's like, we don't get out early today or anything, so like why? Oh, what the heck? Why is it already so far back? All right, well, I'm gonna go get in line. 
going to school because it's already super far back, which is really weird. I don't know why. Hmm. Anywho. Well, I guess we'll go do that. What is this car doing? There's a car that's just Oh, they're turning in. Oh. Maybe they're turning around. Because they don't live there. I still can't believe that the line is already so far back. Like, what on earth is up with this? I don't understand. Alright, well, anyway. I'm going to chill in the carpool line. And, uh... See you guys later. Probably, I don't know, tomorrow maybe. But it, like I said, I did my nails and I filmed it for TikTok, so it's over there. I might include it here though, it'll just be vertical content. So, anywho, all right, bye. just a car vlog so except for when I did my nails and that's vertical so anyway 
Um, we're heading to Camp Maverick from school. Whitney is, of course, here in the back. So, um, yes, we're on our way to get Maverick. Oh, mercy. And um, I, I am just, I think I kind of mentioned this in another clip before, um, I think. But, so basically on Monday, I am going to my first doctor's appointment um, for the weight loss clinic. And basically that means that sometime next year, I could potentially be having weight loss surgery. And I intend to like document a large portion of this journey, all of this journey, not just a portion of it, because I am very like, I wanna be able to look back and like, remember why during the hard times and remember all those things, right? And so I'm nervous, but I'm like kind of living, not living up, but I am continuing, I don't know how I went with it. Basically I'm drinking all the bad coffee I can have in a few days. Because after tomorrow, which is Friday, I will not be having coffee like this anymore. I will just, I have, this is what's bad. I have a protein coffee in the morning and, um, and then I have an energy drink, which I also am planning on stopping. And then I'll have coffee throughout the day and then I'll, you know, have coffee later. Um, and yeah, so, uh, starting Monday though, or st well, really starting Saturday, um, no more sugary coffees, no more, you know, the good stuff as one might say, you know, we're basically just going to be cutting everything back and trying to do the best that I can because I'm feeling very much like you know, if I'm doing this, I don't want to fail, but I feel like it would be very easy to fail and I'm very anxious, but John's going with me, which is really comforting because he's really supportive of this whole thing. And he, you know, I mean, he, he just wants me to be happy and healthy and, you know, make sure I'm successful because I don't want to do this and then, you know, fail at some point later or gain all the weight back or whatever. Like I'm not, you know, I'm not doing this to try. I mean, I, I'm done having kids and at this point it's just wanting to live a long, healthy life with my kids, for my kids and with the PCOS and the Hashimoto's disease, uh, which is hypothyroidism, which basically just means, yeah, hypo. Um, my thyroid is dead. My ear, nose, and throat doctor told me that a long time ago, is that mine is completely dead. And I will probably be on medicine for the rest of my life to produce what it doesn't do anymore. So, that's super fun. But um, yeah, that's kind of where I'm at. And with all of those factors, um, it's really difficult to lose weight. And so the weight loss surgery is truly just like a stepping stone or a bridge to get to a place where I can manage weight in a healthy manner and not have to like do crazy, you know, crash diets that are just gonna end later. Um, because that's very much something I've done before. The lowest I've ever been was 179. And I was in a horrible mental state. I was in a horrible abusive, well, I was in a mentally abusive relationship. And, you know, after that relationship ended, I just kind of jumped off the wagon of, of everything and just started eating and I've just not really stopped. 
So, uh, you know, I can't really, you know, lose the weight on my own at this point. If I, I feel like I keep thinking, you know, if I wouldn't, if I could have lost the weight, I would have. And now I'm 35. I'm two kids later. Like, I just don't think it's going to happen on my own. And so, I don't know. I'm anxious. And I'm probably anxiously making bad choices. Because in my mind, it's like, oh, I'm never going to, you know, do this again. And 